Welcome back to Houston Life, everyone. Now that we've covered the must-see concerts and sporting events for the weekend, it is time now for a little art attack. And let's start by taking a look at what's going on in our local theaters. Just warning, I'm about to butcher my French. It is so not good. <laughs> Le play. Le play. Le play. Oh, no. Le play. That's as good as it's going right to get right off the top. Today. Right off the top. Let's <laughs> say Le Placier de Versailles. It's something like that. 7.30 tonight. It's over at the Hobby Center for the Performing Arts. It's really going to be fantastic. Uh, go enjoy it. It's a French musical feast, a comedy, and an ode to two things I love, wine and chocolate. Tickets start at $39. You can visit thehobbycenter.org. And if you've never heard of Linda Etter, she actually has a really strong following. She is performing tonight at Jones Hall at 8 p.m. And you know what she does is she does a really great salute and tribute to stage and screen icon Judy Garland. So oh, lovely. you can come on out, you can experience her magical and lustrous voice, and um, she's going to sing some of Judy Garland's greatest hits, including Me and My Shadow, Almost Like Being in Love, and uh, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, of course. Those tickets start at just $25, and the website is HoustonSymphony.org if you'd like to go. And from music to ballet, we all love the ballet. It's so Saturday night. Oh, look at that. So graceful. It's so graceful and so beautiful. We can do that, totally. Yeah, no. We got I mean, a ballet lesson. <laughs> we got a ballet lesson and we were not that good. We knew not even anywhere close. Uh, this is Saturday night uh, at 7.30 over at the Wortham Theater. They're launching their 47th season. It's going to be fantastic. They are featuring 12 women and one principal couple uh, in this weekend's performance. Tickets start at $25. You want to go to HoustonBallet.org. And uh, JB, do you like a good mariachi band? Uh, of course. Some of my favorite music of all time is mariachi music. So this weekend at the Children's Museum, it's called Fiestras, Fiestas Patrias. Okay, my Spanish, not Our so good. French and Spanish, French, Spanish are Spanish. not good today. Okay. <laughs> Our we, English isn't so great either. I think people understand that. So on Saturday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., uh, they'll be commemorating Mexico's fight for freedom. And you'll hear, like we mentioned, a mariachi band, the vibrant dance of Las Americas Ballet Folklorico. Tickets are Much only better. $12. Really? And the website is cmhouston.org. And then switching gears and taking you on over to the Children's Museum, where it is Grandparents' Day on Sunday. It goes from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. in celebration of National Grandparents' Day. You can spend the day cracking codes, uncovering clues, and outsmarting villains. It's going to be a fun day because admission is free when you purchase their secret program tickets. For more information, it's cmhouston.org. Now, for all of you science geeks out there, this is going to be super, super cool. Tonight at the Cindy Lisica Gallery from 6 to 8 p.m., there is an ex exhibition called Floating in Space. Now, this was put together by Houston-based studio artist Jennifer McClish, and it's an opening reception, essentially, of her exhibition. She's going to activate the gallery space with some pretty intense color and distinctive character. That's what they say. And uh, it's sort of like a, a mixed media thing. So they're presenting painting and sculpture. And the best thing is that this event is free. So really? for more info, you Looks can really visit cool. cindylisicagallery.com. I always love mixed media kind of things. It's just Oh, yeah. You can see different textures and things coming together, different medias. Well, and you can sort of like step inside the art too and experience it rather than just looking the at full it. Full experience. You know, as artists do. So we're going to keep with the art theme, but this time we're going watercolors. Watercolors 101, Lisa Chow's Watercolors 101. It's a workshop. Uh, it's going on Sunday from 3 to 5 p.m. It's at Myth and Symbol, and local artist Lisa Chow, she is going to be doing this beginner's watercolor class. That's so cool. I I'm pretty sure I took a beginner's watercolor class in uh, first grade, second well, grade. See, I can't. My art skills are like <laughs> drawing a stick stick figure. So I don't know. I would love to go try this though and just mess with the colors and see what you come up with. You know, and Lisa, she's actually phenomenally talented. You can see some of the work we have up on the screen right now. And uh, if you ever wanted to take a beginner watercolor class or brush up on one, she is absolutely your girl. So for more info, you can visit facebook.com slash myth and symbol. And this workshop is only $45, so something fun to do on Sunday afternoon. Very, very cool.